All right, what's up, guys? It's me and everybody watching this. This is my first episode of Let's Play Half-Life 2. Uh, it's part of the Orange Box. Orange Box is a great deal. I mean, for the Xbox, it gives you five games. Half-Life 2, the most I'm playing. Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Half-Life 2 Episode 2. And Portal and Team Fortress 2. And they're all made by Valve. If you don't know who they are, they made Left 4 Dead series. But, and this whole box only costs 20 bucks, but you get 5 games for it. <coughs> now, <coughs> oh man. Well, Half-Life 2 is kind of a very unique game in itself. It's really popular on the PC. Like really popular on the PC it's mainly made for the PC I don't even know why they made it over to Xbox but oh well now the big now this beginning part I have I literally have no idea what the heck is going on with it out all of Half-Life 2 because I've never played Half-Life just regular Half-Life but from what I've picked up from it it's just like Basically, your guy that you play as, his name is Gordon Freeman, and he somehow managed to, like, open another dimension and unleash all these, th that machine right there, I think, he unlocked another dimension and out came all these, like, weird monsters things that somehow managed to, uh, attack, they were, then they attacked Earth and then they captured it or something. And so now they're in control of Earth, and I think that's that's pretty much what happened. And I have no idea what the who this guy is. Like, I think he's some sort of like a head alien guy taking that form or some crap. I don't know. It's I, I don't I have no idea what the heck is going on. <sighs> oh my goodness! This the beginning of this game, which. Which I captured right here is probably no how many times I've been relocated. It, it it's really boring. There's like no action whatsoever. There's one part near the end where you're running away from people and that's it. The the rest of it is just you walking around and kind of ah uh, it it's basically just you walking around and listening to everything. It's pretty boring. I'm not gonna lie. But uh. Oh, Charlie Brown was one of the people right there. Now that's Dr. Douchebag. He... I, see, I don't... I think, like, he's working for the aliens or something. Or well, not the aliens. He's working for, like, the monsters or some crap. Something like that. And that it, that soldier back there was... Well, you'll see more of them, but, like... Those, they're called, like, Combine Soldiers or something I think and then they they I, I think they're people inside of that like regular people but they work for the monsters too uh, they work for the dr. green guy but they're like on the monster side and basically this whole this game is kind of like leading a resistance against them against like the monster people and such. Yeah, all these guys right here. I I don't know what's going on. Oh God. These guys are real. These guys are totally douchebags too. These stupid combine soldiers. Oh, yeah. Look, that guy's gonna get beat up. Pretty badly. He's gonna get tortured. Oh God. Oh, that doesn't look so good. That looks like some. That looks like my dentist chair, actually. So, not a huge surprise. I didn't know my dentist was in this game. About that beer oh yeah, it's Barney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I remember you. Sorry for the scare. I, I don't. Put on a show for the cameras. 
I've been working under you ain't half life and I guess I owe you a beer alright you owe me a beer alright something like that I'm not quite sure look who's here what's going on uh, this is some weird doctor Reiner guy he's a weirdo I think they made him off of I think they Lloyd Christopher Lloyd's character from back to the future it's about the weird hair because he says great Scott and I don't know it's kind of had that weird personality you know okay Gordon you're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, oh man, looks like there. The yeah, other soldiers are starting to get starting to get curious here. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. Oh, okay. Thanks for your thanks for the advice. Oh. Ooh, gosh. There's a bunch of these loading screens in here too. Like, instead of like huge kind of loading screens, got the game. They just have a bunch of these mini loading bars throughout like the entire levels. And this this game is basically oh this part is basic. This part is funny. Now in this part right here, you can either you can throw it at them right here like I do. And that gets you which Oh bank shot. Oh god, that was Kobe. Yeah. You know me, tossing around trash. I own Half Life. Alright, well basically that part back there you can either throw it at them and you'll get an achievement, or you can put it back in the trash can and you'll get an achievement, but once you do one you can't do the other. You can't get the other one. That tower is freaking huge. It's like my dick. <sighs> and this this game is pretty repetitive. Like it, I like this game a lot, but the chapters in it are so long, and they're just like the same place. So it's so you basically just oh that's a freaking Strider. Those things are such douchebags to kill. Near the end of the game, you have to kill like six of them in a row, and they take like six rocket launchers each to kill. It's it's pretty bad. I hate those things. Those things are awful. So this whole game is divided into like eleven chapters, but each chapter is like its own little area. Like it's a pretty big area, but it's like. It looks the same, I guess. Like, there's like a two chapters, not two chapters, there's like a chapter and like a mini chapter where you're in like this jail or something. But, this is really probably going to have like no action at all, whatsoever. It's like the second chapter, start, you, I think you finally get. A pistol so you don't just have to walk around the whole freaking time doing nothing oh goody here's here's some people try to unplug the TV right there because you can basically interact with like anything in this game it's pretty cool open that door All right, so I'm making my way up to the stairs here. Oh, you gotta get in with this guy, I guess. Oh God, turn around! Looks like oh God, they're coming after us. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, get get out of here, get out of here, man! Run! Oh, don't see in the same place. What are you guys stupid? Oh God, it kind of reminds me of my narr. Minority Report, I think, where they had like the six sticks, I think they're called, where they hit you with it, and then you throw up. It's kind of cool. 
But just, that's not what they have in this game. It's just like regular, ch like, electrically charged batons. But they remind me of those 6x. Now, I don't know. He's trying to hold the door back, but I don't know if you guys can hear this. But once you go up here, like, around, like, right here, you can hear them bust open the door, and then they shoot that guy. And then they start, and then, of course, they start coming to it. They start shooting at you. Bam, right there. And I actually got shot. That's like never happened to me before right there. Now, in this beginning part, we like there's like no health things. This game doesn't have a rejuvenating health system. Like it's it's like you lose health and then you have to get back health pack you have to like run over health packs and stuff. You'll see that later. But basic but in this beginning you do have a regenerating health system, I think. Like you can die. But I don't like you getting shot right there and you fall off the buildings well fall off the buildings you'll die but now this part just like oh god alright they just ambushed me right there I think now I think they're getting their butts kicked pretty hard they're gonna have butt hurt it's gonna be oh god Dr. Freeman I presume it's Alex it's she's uh Latino? Fil no, Filipino. No, I think she's half black. No. Well. Yeah, there's definitely some. There's definitely some Native American in there. I, I don't. And what exactly is Dwayne Johnson for that matter? I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in black. I, I don't know. I'm sure you don't remember. Yeah, yeah. She's like half black. She has like a. Words, aren't you? Yeah, she is half black. She has a black dad, I think. She, she is throughout the entire game. Remember him from black she basically You're this right girl right, right here, Alex, just basically that helps you in many parts of the entire game. Like, for some, so somehow she got a machine pistol, like a G, like a G18 or something. I don't know how. I wish I could have that, but. Uh, I guess I can't. I'm not cool enough. Oh yeah, plus, plus these videos I'm gonna be making. Oh, there we go. We got to chapter two. Finally, Jesus. Well, these videos I'm gonna make are gonna be around like 13, 14 minutes long, just cause I can't. I don't have that much space on my computer. Plus, it's gonna take. It takes a long time to render out. Like 13 hour videos, not not 13 hour, like 13 minute videos. With and then I have the vo this voiceover. It's gonna take a long time. This is kind of funny right here. Doctor Green's private reserve. A Doctor Green's private reserve water. That's kind of nice. And right here is kind of where everything kind of starts. Like the game actually starts getting into full kick, and you start doing a bunch of crap. But I think I'm going to end it right around here. Yep. So I'm going to save the game. There is auto saves in this game. Like you don't have to save it, but I like to save it anyway. So I'll see you. I'll see you on episode two, guys.